what we finished with last time, and I asked you to vote at a certain moment, and I've only, only got a few votes. Uh, so this time, I'm going to uh, remember that I showed you some data, so I gave you some uh, uh, means and some uh, results uh, on variance of two experiments, and you had to compare that. And I asked you what is, you know, which one has a higher F ratio, which one has a higher variance yeah, within it. Okay, and I saw your brains working, yeah? And still, some, some of you couldn't vote, they had no clue what to answer. So I want to go over that again, and I have something, because I think that shows it much better than um, when I show the data, I will switch up the lights here. Okay, now have a look. Well, these are some uh, data uh, that, uh, uh, and I just put it in an Excel file, and imagine, you do an experiment, yeah? You, uh, you have three groups. All are professors at Temple University that are, you know, were filled during the class, yeah? And you want to know how nervous is the professor, yeah? So you want to compare the professors during a regular class, during a, a class that is filmed, and perhaps a, a class that is audio taped. And you need to have a kind of variable to match it, where you could take heartbeat, yeah, or, well, any kind of stress response. But imagine it's the amount of fillers the professor used. So how often the professor said, uh, 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 yeah, let's say that that is your variable that measures the stress level. So now I'm going to really be careful to not use those, of course. Okay, so these are then uh, uh, data, and you compare these three groups. Which one, just looking at the graphs, convince you that there is a difference between being filmed uh, and having a regular class and uh, being audio taped? 